This week's video is brought to you by Airtime. Two fun facts. I almost compared one of these movies to Guardians of the Galaxy, but changed my mind because these movies remind me of a Drake lyric. Bad to bad like I'm on the cover of Lethal Weapon. Another fun fact is that both of these movie scripts were script doctored by characters from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Princess Leia is an uncredited script doctor for Lethal Weapon 3, and Simon Pegg, who played an alien in The Force Awakens, helped write Star Trek Beyond. Both these films are the third installment in their respective franchises. And if there's anything we learned about third installments from Rocky 3, Spider-Man 3, and you could even count Harry Potter 3, always make the black guy the bad guy. The movie's about this dynamic duo, and one of the dynamic Unos wants to break up the team by leaving his job in a couple of days because unfortunately, he's getting too old for this S word. He goes more into detail on why and when he wants to leave his job during the scene where he's getting drunk with one of his co-workers. To summarize, long hours, horrible pay, and way too many sequels, so he's got to deuce it. During the elevator scene, you could tell the main characters are going to miss each other if one of them leaves the workplace. So much so, this is the part they lie about their retirement plans to numb the pain of splitting up. Before the guy resigns, we get a couple of shots around the workplace and we see how the teammates get along. You could tell their brotherhood is over 9,000 because they don't let their private lives get in the way of loving each other in a bromantic kind of way. One of the character's masculinity is brought into question, and although the character looks at him with a juvenile smirk, the next scene they're homeboys again, so it's not that serious. What is serious though, is the secret weapon in the movie. The secret weapon in the movie is a death magnet, and it's meant to kill everyone who graduated from the academy. The plan sounds stupid when you say it out loud, but it starts sounding more and more legit when we take a closer look. The captain takes a look at some old video logs and thinks he sees something. And then the lady from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is like, pause, that's the bad guy and he used to work for us. So it sucks because the villain knows all of their policies and procedures and is two steps ahead of them the whole movie. Aware that unity is their weakness, the villain exposes that. He uses a captain on the force as a puppet and the captain leads the villain directly to the weapon he's after. As soon as he gets the weapon, he wastes no time and makes an example out of the young character in the blue shirt who immediately immediately dies to death. The bad guys then try to kill the main characters, but it doesn't work. The first time they try to kill one of the good guys, a girl steps in and taekwondo's a group of the bad men single-handedly. Then they try to kill the good guys again, and she saves them again all by herself. It's obvious that unity isn't a weakness, but a strength at this point. So the karate girl and the main characters join forces. The karate girl is the only one that knows where the bad guy's headquarters is, and she agrees to show her new teammates. We soon learn that the battle between good and evil is lopsided, and one of the characters isn't at 100%. Not only does he have physical scars, but he's scarred emotionally too because he's mourning the death of a friend of the family. When a doctor asks, is he okay? He lies and says he is. He's hurt. I am functioning adequately, Captain. I'm, I'm fine, doctor. Mass. It's understandable why he would lie though, because everybody knows they f you in the hospital. First they drug you, then they f you. But whatever. The healthy teammate takes a motorcycle and chases down the bad guy. He's popping willies and doing all these awesome stunts. But it sets a poor example because he's doing all of this without wearing a helmet. You're reminded not to try any of this at home when he leaps off the bike and the bike is destroyed and the driver is this close to dying and not getting cast in part four. Later, when they finally track the bad guy down, it gets heated. Literally, I mean, because there's so much fire everywhere, Smokey the Bear would have called in sick. Then glass starts falling everywhere too, so everyone is either burnt or cut at this point. The main dude and the bad dude fight head to head, and I'm not really sure who wins, so you could call it a tie. When the good one's about to die, in an ironic twist of fate, the weapon that is supposed to be used to kill folks who graduated from the academy is used to kill the villain instead. At the end, the dynamic duo live happily ever after. One of them finds love with the chick from the Marvel movies, who he's more than likely to impregnate in part four, and the other gets a surprise party thrown in his honor and decides at the last minute not to leave his job after all. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. It's about that time every movie buff's favorite time of the year, the big game. Not for the touchdowns, but for the movie trailers. I probably only watch the NFL championship for the movie trailers, and I love watching them online after the game and talking with my friends about my favorite parts. What would be cooler though, is if I could talk about the trailer with my friends while we watch them together. Unfortunately, my friends live here, 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 and here. Now thanks to airtime, that doesn't matter. 
The Airtime app lets you video chat with your friends, and now you can watch YouTube videos together. Airtime lets you chat with up to six of your closest friends, so it's great for watching trailers, YouTube Live, or your favorite YouTubers, like <clears throat> Couch Tomato. Airtime also works perfectly for sharing music you find on Spotify and SoundCloud, so it's pretty much ideal for anything that you want to share. Click the link in the description and share the stuff you love with the folks you love, and download Airtime today. Thank <laughs> you.